Hello everyone, welcome to the AI practical series. In this particular session, we will study about the demonstration of the TensorFlow tools. So what is TensorFlow actually? So TensorFlow is an open source machine learning library which was developed, which is developed by Google. Uh, it's a widely used building and training machine learning models. And of course, it is also a popular tool for deep learning tasks such as uh, neural network based image recognition and natural language processing. So that the, the, the name TensorFlow comes from the concept of the tensors. So what are tensors? Tensors are multi-dimensional arrays which can represent data of various types and dimensions and can be used for various applications. Now the advantages of uh, this TensorFlow is that it provides flexibility and scalability. So we can build build the models um, build the models for different platforms, starting from small mobile devices to large scale level systems, distributed systems. Now one more thing about uh, this uh, TensorFlow is that it includes a high level API called as Keras. Now this Keras uh, it simplifies the process of building and training neural networks. So this is one of the great advantage. Then ecosystems regarding so. TensorFlow has a rich ecosystem of tools and libraries. So there are lots of, uh, uh, we can say, tools available. Rich libraries are available, which can be used for various uh, devices such as mobile devices, embedded devices. Then we can also uh, use it for web applications, and we can also it, it also serves for developing models in production. Now, while running the while, while doing this for the demonstration part. We will be doing this uh, practical the session for uh, recognizing the spam mails. So before that, we will create a spam dot text a file, which would be actually recognize a spam mail. So this is a spam mail. We will we'll create a text file and save in our system. So the subject will be congratulations. You have won one million dollar or whatever this cash prize, one hundred thousand dollar. And uh, so here, yeah, this 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 is what the a person receives a mail, a spam of this type. So because we need to recognize between a spam and a non-spam mail, so we have to create a spam text. So this is a n spam. We'll create one more file n spam dot text dot txt and save in our system. So this is uh, like invitation for a dinner. So this is a, a small mail, and this is the required code. We'll be running. Uh, I'll be running this particular code on Google Colab. So this is wha what we require. This is the entire code. So here, as we can see in this part, this particular part, we have some uh, data sets which are there in uh, spam mails and non-spam mails. As you can see, first is buy cheap watches, free shipping. So this can be classified. Uh, this this uh, this wordings they are a part of the spam mails. Then here meeting for lunch today. It is uh, generally a non-spam, and uh, claim your prize. You have won so much do dollars, one million dollars, and so on. So this is again a spam mail. Then we can have important meeting at 3 p.m. So this is not spam mail. So we can have various other uh, examples. So this is we can say we we have trained this so that the our model it learns what the spam mails are. So these are the libraries we are importing. I will explain the code afterwards after running the code. Then uh, one more important thing is uh, here. In my case, uh, when we run the code, we first give the path name as spam dot txt, and when we run this, so based on that particular wordings, as you can see, this is the spam txt. It contains something like you have won uh, one hundred thousand, one hundred thousand dollars, and so on. So this is spam mail. So it will classify this as a spam mail. Then after running this. We can just change this file name to nspam.txt.txt. So because I am, I will be using Google Colab, so I will upload this file on on that particular platform. In case if we are using a uh, Python ID, then we have to give the path of this particular file. That will explain when uh, executing the code. So first we'll do as spam, then nspam. So the output will be like a. Uh, you can see here, if it is a spam, it will it will actually classify it, print that it is a spam. If it is not spam. It will say it is not spam. So now let us run the code on Google Colab. So now le let us execute the code. So I am in the Google Colab. I just click on code. I have already copied the code. I will just paste the code here. Then explain the code working of this. So this is our required code. Now 
because we need to check whether the given mail is a spam mail or a non spam spam mail we need to create that particular uh, tech in, in, in the form of a text file so in my PC I have uh, two files one is spam.txt and other is no n spam txt so let us upload the file first so I'll just click here and uh, <coughs> so I need to upload the file I'll just click here and uh, on my desktop I have a folder uh, so I have created this two file this is spam.txt okay and uh, I'll just upload this and then and spam.txt I'll show the content of this file so these two files are now uh, I've uploaded the file in case if we are using Python ID then we need to give the path of this file so because I'm load I, I'm actually running this in uh, Google Colab so I will just upload the files here let us l l let us see the contents of the file then we can proceed for uh, executing the code so before executing the code we must create two files like I have created here for spam.txt so these are the contents I can name the file anything but I have named it at spam.txt I can even name it as abcd or anything else so what we are concerned are this the, the contents so in general we assume that uh, any mail having such contents that you have won $100,000 cash prize and so on uh, which is which is actually just cheating the persons this is a mass mail which is sent generally so this is a spam mail so all these things which are having this warnings they can be classified as spam mail then the second one a non spam mail we have to create this file and save this file so this here the wordings uh, like we can see uh, getting an invitation for a get together or anything else th this may not be a spam mail so because we need to train the machine so we are just having two uh, th we just have the four examples in the program and this fits under from that program this fits under the category of a non spam and the previous one was a spam mail so this is the file which we have uploaded so we need to create this file now let us uh, execute the code so here we have the code okay. and uh, only the thing difference is that uh, here first I am giving the path of s spam.txt so I am just giving the spam mail and it will check and tell us whether the mail is a spam or not a spam from this so let us run this so after running this yes we are getting the this is a spam okay. now what to do for the next part for the next part to check whether this uh, n spam is a uh, spam or not we just make the change here this instead of spam we just put it as n spam this n spam okay. and here this is the comment part but still we can make this as n spam okay now let us run this code now after running we getting this as a not spam okay. so that's it th that's how we execute the code in case suppose if we are getting a spam here then we can rerun it and it will give the correct op output so because the epochs are 10 it may go to some more so to get the correct answer now I will explain the code uh, one more thing the coding part I, I have uh, uploaded this part I will upload the this coding part in the description section of the video you can download from there we begin by importing the necessary libraries. TensorFlow and Open Source Machine Learning Framework. Number PY a library for numerical operations. We also import specific functions and classes from TensorFlow's Keras module, which is used for building and training neural networks. We define a list called emails that contains for example email texts. Since this is just a demonstration we only select for examples, in practice the list may be very large. These emails are labeled with 1 for spam and 0 for non-spam. We set two parameters max words the maximum number of unique words to keep in max length the maximum length of an email text sequence after padding. We create a tokenizer object, which is used to convert text data into numerical sequences. We specify number words as max words to limit the vocabulary size. The special token OOV out of vocabulary is used to represent words that are not in the vocabulary. We fit the tokenizer on the email's data to build a word index based on the words in the emails. We convert the email's text data into sequences of numbers using the tokenizer. 
each word in the emails is replaced with its corresponding index in the word index created earlier. We pad the sequences to ensure they all have the same length max len. Sequences shorter than max len are padded with zeros at the end padding equal to post, and sequences longer than max len are truncated truncating equal to post. We define a simple neural network model using TensorFlow and Keras. This model consists of the following layers. Embedding layer converts word indices into dense vectors of fixed size output dim equal to 16 and maintains the input sequence length input length equal to max len. Flatten layer flattens the output from the embedding layer into a 1D vector. Dense layer with ReLU activation, a fully connected layer with 16 units and ReLU activation function. Dense layer with sigmoid activation, a single output unit with sigmoid activation, which is common for binary classification tasks. We compile the model by specifying the optimizer atom in this case, the loss function binary cross entropy for binary classification, and the metrics to monitor during training accuracy in this case. We convert the X padded sequences and labels into number PY arrays. This step is essential because TensorFlow models typically work with number PY arrays for training. We train the model using the training data and labels. In this example, we train it for 10 epochs, but you can adjust the number of epochs based on your specific training needs. We specify the file path for a sample email text file spam.txt or nspam.txt and read its content into the sample email text variable. We tokenize and pad the content of the sample email text file using the same tokenizer and padding settings used for the training data. We use the trained neural network model to make predictions on the padded sample email. We set a classification threshold equal to 0.5 in this example to determine whether the sample email should be classified as spam or not based on the prediction probability. Finally, we classify the sample email as spam or not spam based on whether the prediction probability is greater than the threshold. This code demonstrates the entire process of pre-processing email text, training a neural network model, and using the trained model to classify a sample email as spam or not spam. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe and comment. Do join us in the next video.